hi guys welcome back to hacky sound tutorial so in this video we will be discussing about a new website detection and exploitation tool called cm seek okay so let's get started so as usual uh, this tool is has been published in github so i'm i'm going to copy the link okay so and i'm going to download this tool so this tool was uh, discovered especially for beginners okay so uh, if you are uh, if you want to scan or a pen test uh, website okay so if you uh, want to do any pen test in a website so this tool will be uh, helpful and this tool is um, is uh, it will be helpful for beginners okay so if you are advanced penetration tester this won't be helpful for that much helpful for you so whereas uh, if you are a beginner then this tool will be very much helpful okay so let me change my directory so as usual i i know uh, all of you know about uh, how to download uh, the github tool okay so if not uh, type git space clone space the link okay so the this link will be provided in the description box so you can get it from there okay so before that let me give an intro about this tool uh, what the creator of this tool said okay so it is a content management system manages the creation and modification of digital content so uh, this uh, website like uh, this tool is a detection or uh, and a website detection and exploitation tool and it will be working on uh, top website uh, ho web hosters okay so like wordpress joomla drupal all the top website web hosters okay so this uh, the functions of cm seekers uh, basic cm detection so that is control management system okay so ba basic uh, detection and drupal version detection it will do uh, version detection plugin detection and uh, it will enumerate the username and it will enumerate uh, the themes which theme is has been used like that basic uh, information about a website like it is a, a this information gatherings uh, will be helpful uh, while doing penetration testing or while doing ethical hacking on a website okay so without wasting the time let's start to run the tool okay so cm seek ls so now uh, let's start the tool okay so for this tool uh, they are using they are suggesting you to use uh, python 3 okay so so type python 3 space cm speak uh, cm seek dot pi and hit enter okay so it will ask you for the uh, options okay so whether you have to do a detection on deep scan or uh, scan multiple sites brute force a site update rebuild catch okay so if you are uh, be careful in while using these two okay so if you uh, here itself they are uh, they have mentioned use only when you add a custom module so when you add a custom module use this rebuild catch okay so rather than that it uh, every every options will be easy okay so i am going to use the first option so i have choose the website okay so i have uh, choose this website so if you want to pen test uh, any website so you can do with that and if it has any vulnerability it will mention you here itself okay so if it don't has any any vulnerability then you have to go with another sites okay so this will be helpful for uh, a beginner a bug bounty beginners okay so i am sta i have started the scanning so it has detected the version is 4.7.11 okay now uh, it is valid validating the browser okay so we have to wait and this won't uh, take that much time that like uh, this tool won't uh, take that much time to give you the result okay so it is very fast and it has uh, started the plugin enum enumeration so this this tool was pretty um pretty easy to use and yeah here you could see like it has founded a 
uh, it has been uh, harvested a username okay so this username has been har harvested in this from this website and it has enumerated the what theme they are using so like uh, he is using flat some theme okay so like uh, plugins these two plugins has been enumerated from that particular website and uh, it's showing that license file change log file uh, are been open okay so let me open the license file and see what so, so if the license file has been open so uh, the the victim like the attacker can get some uh, collect some informations about that license file okay so uh, the you the owner of the website has to suppo supposed to block this uh, subdomain okay so like uh, he forgot to do that so let it be so if you want to detect like uh, this tool will give you uh, false positive results sometimes so if you found any vulnerability while doing bug bounty programs if you find any vulnerability in this tool uh, please uh, consult uh, consult with some of the bug bounty experts or go with the google okay so search with the google and do some manual attacks and then uh, report that okay so because uh, if you report fake uh, fake bugs then you you might get some like uh, you might your reputation might go down okay so that's all for today guys if you have any doubts uh, in this tool please comment in the comment section and if you have any suggestions please mention it in the comment box so if you want to contact us uh, in the description box we have mentioned our link social network links so you can contact us through that okay so thanks for watching guys keep supporting us if you are a new viewer to this channel please subscribe to our channel for getting more updates okay thank you